What's up everybody welcome to another episode of Riders Republic and today I'm going to show you guys the best downhill bike in the game. It is the best hands down no questions asked. This is the one you want to get. There's so many out there but this is it. Uh, before I do that guys I did want to answer a question here coming in from Prof with two W's and Craw with two W's is asking about my settings. So real quick guys we're going to go over that. All right, first we have the landing mode that's set on manual. I've always been that way. You get extra points that way, guys. So if you want extra points, it's a little bit tougher, but I think it's definitely worth it. Set it to manual. Grind, I recently set it to manual. I always had it on auto, but I switched it over. I think I'm a big boy now. I think I can handle it. So I recently switched that to manual. Everything else here is pretty standard. One thing I do want to point out is the map navigation sensitivity. I would bump that up all the way, guys. That way you can... Uh, browse the map a little bit faster. I find it saves a lot of time because it, it's so much quicker. I highly recommend it. As for a controller, I'm on an Xbox controller. I do use Trickster settings. Uh, that's the one I've been using pretty much since the beginning. And if you don't know, that means I'm doing all my tricks with the right analog stick. I prefer it. It feels more natural to me. I recommend it if you haven't tried it. Uh, vibration always off. Now the dead zone size here i have it all the way to the bottom just so my controller is a little bit more responsive i wouldn't recommend it if you do have an older controller that in if you turn it all the way to the bottom you might see some drift um so test it out play with it if you do have a brand new controller christmas just passed so if you just got yourself a fresh controller then i do recommend it um it feels more responsive overall so pretty good uh audio is pretty i'll go through that fast the only thing here special is the music's all the way down the music you guys hear is, is something i put in myself and game uh, game hud is always on if you want to do a montage then you could turn it off a little bit cleaner i see other people do it uh so i do recommend that if you're trying to go that route now as for graphics which i think crawl with two w's was asking for is vsync on i am playing on pc boys so we do have a little bit extra options here on mine i have everything set to high i didn't notice a difference between high and ultra i did see an, a little bit higher frames on on just the high settings so everything is on high and motion blurs off i have a heavy background with first person shooters guys and the number one rule on those things is turn motion blur off you never want them on i don't know anybody that ever has motion blur on those fps games so the first thing i did when i played this game was turn it off all right guys so there's a rundown on my settings uh if you guys were curious about it i had a couple of questions and um somebody was asking me to make a video about it so go ahead and knock i just wanted to knock that out here in the beginning and now we're going to show you guys the best bike in the game all right boys here it is the best bike in the game it is called the specialized demo loic bruni i believe that's how you pronounce it i've never actually said it out loud um i think so hopefully i got it right but anyways the key component to this bike is the grip i've mentioned it in my past videos this is something that's very important for downhill bikes because if you're on a mass race and a lot of the times you're going down a mountain full of snow uh like the terrain you can see behind the bike here where it's snow mud and it's just very slippery the other bikes can't really get a good traction and they won't get their max speed with this bike you'll get every bit of the speed if you've ever been in a mass race and you got people flying past you this is why they're rocking this bike i highly recommend getting it now today we're going to do a couple of races to show you what it's capable of and i'm going to pick a specific terrain that has a snowy environment just so you can see that it doesn't really slow down all right boys let's get it all right guys i found the event it's something I don't think I've shown in the channel. I just worked on it personally. It's the Red Bull Holy Bike Big Event. I think this is perfect because as you can see around me, we're on this slushy, not dry terrain. Perfect to show what this bike is capable of. All right, so let's get into it. Of course, we're going to be using the specialized demo Loic Bruni. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right, man. I feel weird every time I say it. I don't know what the heck I'm saying, boys, okay? But that doesn't matter. I can't pronounce the name. I can write it, though. That's all that matters. As you can see, I've been building the collection here, guys. I was thinking about doing, like, a Battle of the Elites to show you how much better this bike would be against something else. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. But for now, we're going to jump into it with this beautiful bike right here. Run Elite, boys. There's no 
no doubt this bike is the best one for this type of terrain no doubt in my mind i've been looking at all the other stats some bikes might show a higher speed or higher sprint but look at this i went from back of the pack to leading it this bike is amazing dude it's hands down the best for almost every situation and i say almost because I think it does have a rival in certain situations. I think the V10 Syndicate bike you get from the sponsorship that is available to everybody right away, guys. So if you if you just got this game for Christmas, you excited to get some elites. Of course, level level up your bike career, but also everyday work on the sponsors, guys. Don't sleep on that. You can get yourself a really good bike guaranteed versus this one. You kind of have to get lucky. But this bike really shines on those muddy, snowy terrains where I think the V10 Syndicate might might give this bike some trouble is on terrains like this that I'm on right now. Dry, bone dry, dirt roads. This is where I think it might outclass it because it does have that higher speed advantage. I'll just put up the stats between the two bikes on your left and right. Let's take a peek. You can see the V10 Syndicate has a sprint, uh, actually a speed advantage. And I don't know if that means specifically it just reaches the top speed quicker, like, you know, it's just pedal faster, or if it just has a higher speed in general. What I'm gonna do for you guys just to uh, make it clear as day is I'm gonna pick the same road and put them up against each other so you can see which one performs better on bone dry terrain like this. That way, when you guys know you're going to be in a race that's bone dry, you know which one to pick. Because I think most of the time, this is the bike to, to get, especially if it has anything to do with snow. I think the V10 is up there, boys. Almost ate it. Pull it together, man. All right, we're back in it. Let's finish strong here. Whoa, little victory flip. How you doing? As you guys can see, I beat the second place by, what is that, five seconds? Give or take five seconds on elite guys this bike is it all right this is it look no further this is the bike you want as you can see boys the bike is pretty goaded and just to drill it home i found a new event here we can try out something different something i haven't I haven't done at all in this game before oh perfect landing skirt skirt <laughs> all right that's a good name let's see Let's see, look at these objectives. Cross the finish line at 44 miles or more. Land a whip. Okay. And then I went on expert difficulty. I think we can manage this one. I have no experience on this bike event at all. Yeah, you can see that Syndicate V10. I think I think it can give this bike its run for, for its money on the right event, guys. I really do. But of course, we're gonna use the, the specialized bike for today. Let's get this started. Let's get this W, boys. Rocking the best bike in the game. Like I said, I do think there are some some runs where the V10 Syndicate is going to outperform this bike. This could be possibly one of them, to be honest. I got to do some more testing to see in exactly how many situations that bike can outperform this one. Uh, but like I said previously, I think this one will win most of the time. I honestly do believe that. But if you do get this one before the V10, I could, you're one lucky ducky brother because it took me forever. So I'm not trying to discourage you, but if you want the best, some people get it pretty fast and, and I'm env envious of those people, man. I wish I was them, but most of the stuff I've gotten, it took me quite a while. But I'll make sure to put out a video, guys, to compare the two. So that way we know for sure. But I can tell you with full confidence on the mass races that have snow uh, terrain. Those muddy snow terrains definitely use this bike, guys. No question about it. If there is one that doesn't have a snow terrain. Um, then I would use the V10. But of course, we're going to secure all three objectives. Let's go, boys. That was only like my third try, so beautiful. Let's look at where we are on those XP. Oh, did I make it all the way? 
yeah once you get past level 50 guys you're gonna see you're gonna get money a lot more often it's it's pretty hard to get these elites boys so i can imagine everyone's pretty happy when they see an elite go across their 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 screen man i get excited every time when i see three thousand bucks i'm like damn again all right guys i want to thank you so much for watching the video that's gonna do it for me if you enjoyed the video go ahead and drop a like on it guys i appreciate it and if you want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button guys i'll be coming out with more elite episodes tips and tricks stunts shack daddy events all that good stuff guys again i want to thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves be good drink some water and i'll catch you boys in the next one peace charlie level zero you just got the game my guy oh man i wish you the best of luck on those mass races buddy it's gonna be a tough one he's so screwed <laughs>